my name is Reem Fareed. I'm a director of technology at the chief data office at AT&T. When I say AT&T, what do you know about AT&T? What comes to your mind when I say AT&T? Phone service. Phone service. Anyone else? 5G. 5G. ISP. ISP. Yes, it's all of the above. AT&T is a telecommunication company with a revenue of $120.7 billion. It's a wireless provider. It's one of the largest wireless providers in the US and in the world with 241.5 million subscribers. And yeah, network, 5G, you've heard the commercial. It's uh, America's most reliable 5G network. And yes, the AT&T fiber, that super fast internet. But hey, enough of the commercial. We're not here to talk about that. We have a fun topic. You're probably wet from the rain, tired from an all day of school, and probably hungry for dinner or iftar. So thank you for coming here. We're going to make it a lot of fun for you. So our topic today is data and AI. So when I say AT&T, do you think data and AI? Does that come to your mind? Come to think of it. There is uh, 640 petabytes of data that comes across our network on a daily basis from 200 billion interactions from wireless devices. So yes, data and AI plays a huge role at AT&T. I am one of the lucky ones that work at the Chief Data Office. It's an org where I get to work with a lot of smart people every day. I work with data scientists, data analysts, architects, developers. It's an org with a great office culture. And hey, I get to work with data every day. What's better than this? I think I'm one of the lucky ones here. at and goal is to be the best connectivity company in the planet. The chief data office, our role is to be at and North Star for data, analytics, and AI. We set the vision for data and AI at at and We make the data a core strategic asset for the company and have an enterprise view of the data. Data democratization means get the data and make it available and share it. So get it once, single version of the truth, and share that data. And then make it available to create insights and analytics and help the company make strategic, informed, data-driven decisions. So that's data. The next part is AI, Gen AI to be specific. With a show of hands, how many of you have used Gen AI? ChatGPT? Almost everyone, right? So Gen AI is truly revolutionizing personal and professional lives. On the personal side, I mean, when I started using Gen AI the first time, I'm like, oh, how, how do I use this? What do I do? So I asked it to define a word. I'm like, OK, great. Well, I can Google that. And then I gave it a paragraph. I'm like, summarize it in three bullet points. Boom. I started saying, wow, well, this is cool. But then uh, the more and more I use it, I use it on a daily basis almost now. And uh, like last personal thing I've done is create an itinerary for our next international trip. And I was amazed, like give it the days and the location, the countries, and it came, came back with a great itinerary. So that's on the personal side. Professional side, so a Gen AI is used in a wide variety of things from drafting emails up to creating ideas with everything else in between. So like uh, creating code snippets, optimizing database queries, um, creating test cases and executing them. It's truly amazing. So it's driving a new era of convenience, productivity, and connectivity. Gen AI is enhancing the effectiveness and efficiency of how we work and it helps us serve our customer, employees, and business better and faster and more efficient. AT&T is named as the top 1% of the company's greatest ability to deploy and use AI. So when I talk about AT&T, and you know all the services that AT&T does, right? But then it's not just that with what I said. AT&T is a software, technology, data, and AI company. <clears throat> Now, with uh, uh, great powers comes what? Great responsibilities. great responsibilities. Well, Gen AI has given us great powers. Use Gen AI wisely, everyone. Thank you for having me here today.